Well, is she here? Oh, she is. Do not worry about me. Someone has to take care of these flowers. Like Flowey? Yeah, I was hoping for something more. Let's get on going to the adventure and meet the Skelebroth. So we can really kick this off. Yeah, it's going to have to be taking my time getting through here. So how are you guys doing? You having a good time? Yeah, walking through this room takes forever. Take one. Take a candy? Yeah, I'll take one. You took more candy. How disgusting. <laughs> Take another piece. You feel like the scum of the earth. Nobody picked up? Apparently I just avoided a battle. <laughs> She knows. So, spare you. Oh, there's the battle. Hey, Froggit, how you doing? Spared. Tripped into a line of mold smalls. As much as I would love to do a sexy wiggle, I have to move on. Yeah, it's resave. So, rage on Five Nights at Freddy's aside, this is going rather smoothly. Yeah, let's keep going. Another battle. Vegetoid came out of the earth. Yeah, got it. So it's like steamed carrots and peas. Eat your greens. Now we're back at home. Now we can go on. Now we go up. And out we go.
And we get lighter on our gradients. Clever. Very clever. You don't think you're really smart, don't you? Whoops. You think you're really smart, don't you? In this world, it's kill or be killed. So you are able to play by your own rules. You spare the life of a single person. <laughs> I bet you feel really great. You didn't kill anybody this time. But what will you do if you meet a relentless killer? You'll die and you'll die and you'll die. Until you tire of trying. What will you do then? Will you kill out of frustration? Or will you give up entirely on this world? And let me inherit the power to control it. I am the prince of this world's future. Don't worry, my little monarch. My plan isn't regicide. This is so much more interesting. <laughs> yeah, I love to laugh. <laughs> oh, I can't quite do it at the moment. I've been doing too many voices. I'm getting too raged. Undertale by Toby Fox. Now the real fun begins. There's a camera hidden in the bushes. Sorry, I wanted to do the laugh. The stick didn't break. Now it did. I saw that. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Human, don't you know how to greet a new pal? Turn around and shake my hand. And... <laughs> <laughs> the old whoopee cushion and the hand trick. It's always funny. Anyways, you're a human, right? That's hilarious. I'm Sans, Sans the Skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now. Eh. Hey. But, you know, I don't really care about capturing anybody. Now my brother, Papyrus, he's a human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually... I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go through this gate thingy. Yeah, go right through. My bro made the boss too wide to stop anyone. Quick, behind the conveniently shaped lamp. Sup, bro? You know what's up, brother? You know what's up, brother? It's been eight days and you still haven't? Recalibrated your puzzles! You just hang around outside your station! What are you even doing? Staring at this lamp. It's really cool. Do you want to look? No! I don't have time for that! What if a human comes through here? I want to be ready! I will be the one! I must be the one! I will capture a human! Then I, the Great Papyrus, will get all the things I utterly desire. Respect! Recognition! I will finally be able to join the Royal Guard! People will ask, To be my friend? I will bathe in a shower of kisses every morning! Hmm. Maybe this lamp will help you. Sans! You are not helping, you lazy bones! All you do is sit around and boondoggle! Oops. All you do is sit and boondoggle! 
You get lazier and lazier every day! Hey, take it easy. I've gotten a ton of work done today. A skeleton? <laughs> Sans! Come on, you're smiling. I am and I hate it. Sigh. Why does someone as great as me have to do so much just to get some recognition? Wow, sounds like you're really working yourself. Down to the bone. Oh! I will attend to my puzzles. As for your work, put a little more backbone into it. <laughs> okay, you can come out now. Let's talk. You ought to get going, he might come back. And if he does, you'll have to sit through more of my hilarious jokes. I'm sure I could catch up, but I need to relish the situation. Actually, hey, hate to bother you, but can you do me a favor? I was thinking, my brother's been kinda down lately. He's never seen a human before, and seeing you might just make his day. Don't worry, he's not dangerous. Even if he tries to be. Thanks a million, I'll be up ahead. Alright, Sunbeam, thanks for coming. Have a good night. Much love. The convenience of that lamp still fills you with the determination. Pair of snowballs. Some sort of checkpoint or sentry station. But there are bottles of ketchup, mustard, and relish sitting inside. I'm sure that's all he could have mustered up. It's a fishing rod affixed to the ground. Reel it in. All that's attached to the end is a photo of a weird looking monster. Call me, here's my number. You decide not to call. Send the line back out. It's a fishing rod affixed to the ground. Yeah, let's put it back in. How am I doing? Use the box? Yep. Tough glove. Put the vengeance stick away. Let's finish that. And let's see what the tough glove does for info. A worn pink leather glove for five fingered folk. Yeah. Let's put that back there. This is a box. You can put an item inside or take an item out. The same box will appear later, so don't worry about coming back. Sincerely, a box lover. I mean, does that mean they're box haters? Hello! Snowdrake flutters forth. Let's check the Snowdrake. This teen comedian fights to keep a captive audience. My fave ice cereals! Oh. Oh. I didn't even get a chance to read it well. Mmm, I'm trying to think of a voice. It smells like a wet pillow. You laugh at Snowdrake's pun. See? Laughs! Dad was wrong! Snowdrake is pleased with its cool joke. As I was saying about Undyne. This is where they become total dorks. They just spin around. Sans! Oh my god! Is that a human? 